once you find a treasure, you can afford all the luxuries you ever wanted. Your blinker's still on there, buddy. Turn that thing. There you go. Uh, it, it requires work to either either to gain the item that you associate with luxury, or even if you've achieved that luxury, you cannot properly enjoy it unless you've got some work to rest from in that luxury. If you get everything for free, that is not a good situation. Oh, what's going on over there? We got us a suburban in the bushes. How many of you out there swim? Swimming is for fun, competition, or for when you're trying to not die. I wonder if that's how swimming was invented. There was a, a uh, shipwreck, and there was one little raft, and then there was uh, there was enough room for more people to arrive in the safety raft. But there were people everywhere, and there was a life raft, and uh, there was uh, uh, seven people in the raft, and the raft only had room for eight. And then there were two people that each saw the raft at the same time, and they were about to make for that raft so they could survive. But Whoever got there first was gonna get in, so boom, they started swimming. And then the guys in the raft, they had their favorites, but they were rooting them on. Hey, come on, Larry, swim. Uh, hey, uh, Jansen, let's go. And they started cheering real hard for them, the, their favorite to get there first and survive. Just to make things interesting, they saw a fin popping up behind them in the ocean. A dolphin had entered the race. Now, swimming ain't the same thing as floating. Oh my goodness, you just about caused an accident. Now, swim in sounds like a place where you go to spend the night. You sleep on a water cot. When I was a kid, I was going down a water slide and uh, I was having a grand old time and it was one of the most favorite things I've ever done was go down this water slide. But you know what? It didn't come to my brain at that time that at the bottom, it has a swimming pool and I didn't know how to swim at the time and I just figured you know maybe it'll be a uh, walking depth but I started sinking like a stone but that's all right they had a lifeguard that was on duty and she did a good job she jumped in and saved me I wasn't I wasn't uh, spitting up water or anything like that and so I went up again I went up this water slide stairs again I waited in the line again I went down the slide again and then I remember a time in my life a very frozen moment in my brain where I was going down this slide and I realized why am I going down this again I still can't swim I didn't learn the last time I don't know how to swim but I didn't I didn't have any plan either I just went down the slide again because the slide part was fun I got down there and started drowning again and I tried to doggy paddle the best I could but I wasn't making much progress and uh, I was my head was above the water, below the water, above the water, back and forth until that lifeguard, she saved me a second time. Hey kid, why don't you go ahead and go to that child pool over that way? And she sent me toward a pool that had no possibility of drowning me because it was more like a splash puddle. So my entire day at the water park consisted of two times down a water slide and a lot of times standing around with a bunch of little kids swimming in debt, swimming in life's problems, 